Hi everyone, you might remember having seen this cute little micro notebook created by the Happy Planner in one of my previous videos. I think I showed it to you maybe a few weeks ago. I picked it up from Pineapple Rose Paper on Etsy. This is the sunglasses one. Being a pink girl, I really thought this cover was cute and I kind of wanted it just for a toss around notebook where I could just scribble things out and not have to be too neat or precise. And that's pretty much what I've been using it for. But as a result of getting this, I started to look on Instagram, and I might have even watched some YouTube videos, just to see what people were using it for. And a lot of people are using it for a little planner, and they're adorable, they're really cute, but they're just kind of not my thing. Um, but while watching these videos, it suddenly occurred to me that I could kind of create my own little micro art journal with this, because, you know, you could pick your paper. So that's what I decided to do. But because I like having it on my desk as a notebook, I decided to pick up another one. So I got this one um, not too long ago. I thought it was super cute. Again, it's a micro notebook. This one is, I believe, called Botanical Garden. And I got this one on Etsy from Artsy Craftsy Emporium. And both of them come, of course, with the mini rings, which they're fine if you're going to use them, you know, if you want it to be smaller, you're going to use it with just the paper in there, that kind of thing. But I wanted to get slightly larger rings, so I picked up two different versions of the next size up, which I believe is called the Classic and I got them in silver, and I got them in the hot pink. Now, the hot pink ones I got from Artsy Craftsy Emporium, where I got this one, and the silver ones I picked up from Happy Crafts and more, and I'll put links down below to both of those Etsy sellers, but I'm pretty sure that this is, you know, how they're going to, or where they're gonna go, and I'm gonna keep one of these as a notebook, and I'm gonna keep one of these as um, a little art journal. Now, in addition to both of these, I also had seen a lot of really cute jelly covers out there for these little things and other things, the Weeks Hobonichi and all that kind of stuff. And I'd resisted the urge until I got these because I just thought it would be super cute to have a little cover for them. And I had been wanting to get a black one, but I couldn't find a black one. So I ordered one in, I think it's a white, and then... Uh, several days later I found somebody who was now selling black ones so I thought I would take these out we could put them all together um, in this video and see what they look like now I have not opened up the plastic and checked these covers out so we'll look at them together and see what we think now I'm pretty sure the silverish one with these stars is going to go with this cover and the black one will go with the other one but let's see what they look like so this one, the silver one, the silver jelly, I guess I should say white, is from JNL So Cute, I believe also an Etsy seller. And once again, I will put a link down below, put a little note in it, said thank you, which is cute. Okay, so now this one also comes with a couple of extra pieces, which I think are a pretty cool touch. It has a little bow in here made from the jelly and also, if memory serves, let's see if I can get this out. It has a little pocket insert, which I think is super cute. So let's look at the cover first. So I haven't, like I said, I don't have any of the jelly covers. This is the first one I've got and I'm actually kind of impressed. It's it's not super thick, but it's sturdier than I thought it would be. Now she's made it super cute with little scalloped pockets on both sides, which I think is awesome. I'm leaning towards saying this is going to be my um, little art journal, and I'm just kind of looking at the stitches and stuff. It's really cute. It's got a white elastic, which is fine. Then you have this really cute little bow which bow clip I guess I should say which I don't know that I'll use we'll have to see but it is cute made from the jelly material All right super cute and then the thing that I think is really adorable is this little pocket I'm trying to figure out where this oh opens up at the top okay this really cute little pocket which also has a scallop top and on this side 
Okay, so this stuff wants to stick together. And this side has the little pocket. This side doesn't, this side does. So super cute. So I'm thinking that that will go together right there, okay? And then we have this one, which is from Coffee Break with Bow. Oh, there you go. Um, again, I haven't looked at it. This should be, I think, a black one. Pretty sure that's what I ordered. Yep. Oh yeah, and I picked the color of the elastic. Okay. So here is this one. I love the look of the of the black one, but I think that one goes here, right? Everybody agree? Okay. So there's all the stuff that I prepped for it um, or bought for it. Now I went through all of the paper that I have in different paper pads and things like that. And I had several different types of paper and I actually wrote them down so you guys would know what I decided to put in here. So I have in this little, going into this little art journal, um, Canson Artist Series Comic uh, Manga Illustration Paper, 150 pounds, Strathmore Bristol Paper, Strathmore Tone, Toned Tan Paper, 80 pounds, Watercolor Paper, 140 pounds, B Paper Pen Sketchers 70 pound paper, just regular sketch paper, Canson Mixed Media Paper, and some black cardstock. So I pulled several sheets from those pads, I cut them down, and because I knew I wanted to do something like this, I purchased the whole punch. I think I used a coupon at Michael's, and that is, I think, the smaller version. And I put it together. Now, actually, I went a little overboard, I had a lot. So I decided how much I wanted, and then this is kind of the spare stuff, and I'm just using the extra rings to keep it all together because all, I think each one of these I got, I think it's like 10 discs or rings. So my plan is to use this as an art journal and then one as a note, um, a place for notes. So I have these all grouped together right now, but obviously I'm going to pick and choose what I want to use. Oh, and I did take some of my old, I have some like old um, books that, you know, people had lost pages from and stuff like that. So I cut some of that down too. So that's all in here. So you can kind of see I have some sketch paper here. I have the toned tan paper. I have, um, I believe this is the mixed media. I have the black card stock some more, probably the pen sketchers, um, watercolor, the book pages, and I think lastly, the Bristol. So they're all together right now, but I can just basically pull whatever page I want. If I want to do it while it's attached to the disc, I can, or I could just pull it out, create whatever I want to create and stick it back in. I could also cut off the edge and put it in my journal, whatever I want to do. I thought that would be super cute. So, Let's very quickly put these together. I'm going to pop the cover off of this one because I think, at least right now, that I want, I think I want the, I think I want this one to be the, the art journal, but we'll see. We'll set it up like this and obviously if I don't like it, I can just change it. Super easy. Now I might have to take a few pieces of paper out because I forgot about that pocket. So let's see. What do I want to take out? I'll take out just a couple of the, oop, sorry about it banging. My thing here is obviously um, glass. So that's why it makes such a noise. Okay, so let's pop this on here. All right, I think it's all good. Looks like it's, it's all on there, all right. Let's grab that pocket. Hopefully that fits, yep, fits perfect. Okay, so there's that. I might actually need to take out one or two more pieces, let's see. Taking out a couple of the pieces that are thicker. Oop, sorry about that noise to start with. So there's that. And then basically, 
you just stick the cover in the little pocket. Now you could do it if you, I guess you could try and do it on both sides, but I'm not going to. Now this one obviously looks like it's going to work with the classic size. I think it'd probably be a little big if you were just doing the small one, but there's that one. I think that's just adorable. Okay, and then on this one, I actually haven't changed out the rings yet, so I need to do that. Let me grab the rings. Okay, I think I'm gonna be right back after I put this together so you guys don't get stuck watching me f uh, flounder around with it. Be right back. Hi everybody, it's Kara and I am back. It's obviously a little bit later in the day because the sun's out and is a lot brighter. And I did manage to get the other notebook in here, but there's kind of a good news, bad news scenario. So the lined paper and the little grid paper that I had left are all in here, but these larger rings do not fit in this particular jelly cover. So I'm going to stick with the um, mini size for the notebook because it works and then I will use the larger size in the one that I'm gonna use as a little kind of traveling art journal type thing. Um, so there they are, super happy with them. This one works just like the other one, meaning I just stuck the back cover in this pocket back here. This one is a little bit more snug than the other one, um, but it was super easy to get it in here. And as you can see, I've got quite a bit of note paper in there. This is just, like I said, the original note paper from the two little micro notebooks that I purchased. And then in the other one was all of that paper that I cut up from my various paper pads and things that I have that I'm gonna use as an art journal. So I'll put links down below to um, both of the sellers that made the jelly covers in case you guys wanna check them out. I do wanna just kinda of point out a couple things about the cover cause I didn't do that before. This one, as you can see, has a kind of a straight stitch to it, right? Just kind of a basic one. And this one, which I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see, maybe you can see it there, is more of a zigzag. Okay, and obviously it's in the same color as the jelly um, material, so it's black. And if memory serves, I chose the pink color for the elastic. I think this one came with white, but I'm not positive. So there are those. I'm also going to keep the extra paper that I cut up on some of these rings for when I use it up in here. And then, of course, there is the little clip that came with this set, if you want to see what it looks like in here. Let's see. I'm not sure that I'm going to use it, like I said. I'm typically not one for a lot of extras, but just so you guys can see it. There it is. Obviously, if you wanted it a little higher, you can make it a little higher. There you go. So, there are the two covers. One I'm going to use for notes, one I'm going to use for an art journal, Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Maybe it gave you some ideas for ways to use your micro notes or for the possibility of getting one. I think this is going to be kind of a fun, portable little thing to carry with me. Lots of different paper options, so therefore lots of different things I could try. Plus, I like the size of the paper. It's basically three by four. So, you know, it's not a lot of room to fill up, but it's enough to play if you just have a few minutes. So, once again, that's what I'm doing with my two little micro notes from the Happy Planner. Um, all the links will be down below for all the supplies that I've used in this, the covers included. Um, if you have any questions for me or comments, let me know. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'm hoping you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.